Hi, welcome back to Shotoku Tech. I just finished working on this project where I need 5 volts from a 3.7 volt LiPo battery to power this GPS module. I'm looking at many of these different boost modules and I want to share the three reasons why I chose this one. Here you see a variety of these boost modules on Amazon. Some have built-in USB connectors. Some have an adjustable output. Some are remarkably simple. The first criteria I'm looking at is the supported current on the 5 volt output. Most of these support 1 amp. I'm going to stay with those that support 2 amps. For this project, I want 5 volts, period. So the adjustable units seem like they're going to be a hassle for this application. None of these units I see with the integrated USB connections seem to support 2 amps. So I'm choosing this Maker Focus 2 amp 5 volt charge discharge integrated module. Let's put it to the test. Here you see the charge pins. The battery pins are here and the 5 volt output pins are here. This Maker Focus 1000 mAh battery is putting out 3.93 volts. We see 5 volts here on the 5 volt output pins. There are four leads that show the battery charge level here. So I choose this board for the 5 volt 2 amp fixed output. But what I like about this board is something I was not expecting. This button here acts as a power switch. Press it once to power on the 5 volt output pins. Press it twice to power off the 5 volt output pins. This unexpected feature is so cool that I go ahead and buy some of these USB breakout boards so I have a complete solution. Hook up the battery, charge it, power your 5 volt device on and off. Now, there are some other interesting boost boards that might be better suited to your project. I like this one with the USB connections already integrated so you can make your own portable charger. But I'll summarize the three points that make this Maker Focus 2 amp 5 volt charge discharge integrated module my top pick to power this GPS module. Number one, the output supports 2 amps. Number two, the output is fixed at 5 volts. Again, I see the adjustable output as a hassle for this application. Number three, the big unexpected surprise, this power switch. Stay tuned. And thank you very much. So, make sure to check all the links in the description down below. Please subscribe. Check out some of these other videos. And thank you very much. Thank you for watching Shitoku Tech. Please subscribe, comment, like, and share.